How's it going, you geometry cats? Today we're going to look at 7 2 similar figures, or similar polygons. Similar figures, similar polygons. It's a tomato tomato situation. <clears throat> okay. So, first off, what we need to know is that similar figures have the same shape but not the same size. And this is this little squiggly thing being similar. Okay. For example, you know, here's a stick figure. Here's a stick figure. They're similar, same shape, different size. Same shape, different size. Okay? That's what it means to be similar. Okay. If two polygons are similar, then the angles are congruent and the lengths of the corresponding sides are proportional. Okay? So if we look at this picture, if B A D C or A B C D is similar to G H I J, then here's some things I know. Angle A is congruent to angle G, right? And look at they they have to match up with this guys. A and G. B is congruent to angle H. C is congruent to angle I. And D is congruent to angle J. Okay. And you can tell by the marks and by the colors. Okay. I guess we got other stuff we can say too. Like A, B. It's congruent to GH. I'm sorry. Not AB is congruent. AB is proportional to. So AB over GH equals BC over HI equals. CD over IJ and we got one more AD and GJ <clears throat> do you notice how I put all the small one, like this is small guy and this is large guy I put all the smalls on top all the larges on the bottom that's important okay Let's do an example. Oh, I'm sorry. Scale factor. Scale factor equals the ratio of um, similar figure side lengths. corresponding side lengths. And what you can do with the scale factor is you can take your scale factor and multiply the sides of one of the figures to get the sides of the other figure. Okay. For example, Uh, not for example yet. Let's try this beast. 1A. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to go up here. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. For example, for scale factor, my scale factor. Uh, from little to big is well what do I multiply 6 by to get to 15 well 
is 15 6 which I'm going to simplify that as 5 halves right and then from big to little it would be the opposite it would be not the opposite but the reciprocal 2 fifths what that means is 5 halves times xy equals my ab, right? And we can prove that works because what's 5 halves times 6? Well, that's 30, that equals 15, which equals ab, okay? So to get from one to the other, I multiply the side by my scale factor, okay? Okay, suppose we have two figures. What pairs of angles are congruent? And write the extended proportion for the ratios of lengths of corresponding sides. Okay. One way you can do this is to draw a picture. Okay. I like the shortcut method on these beasts. So for 1A, my angles, angle D is congruent to angle H, right? E to J. F to K. G to L. Okay. Okay. Let's try the proportion of side lengths and see what happens. Okay. Where's my razor buttons right here? No, my pen battery is going to die soon. We must make this video. Okay. This is where I'm going to use my picture. ED matches up with JH, right? Or DE with HJ. And I usually always do the little one on top just because I'm that way I'm consistent. EF matches up with JK. And I'm not just kidding. Okay. Okay. FG matches with KL and last but not least DG or GD matches with HL okay Come on, Moby, let's finish this beast. Are these polygons similar? If they are, write a statement and give the scale factor. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pause this for. Well, I'm back, guys. Let's try this beast. Uh, hopefully, my Moby doesn't, my pen doesn't die. It still wants to, but that's fine. So, <clears throat> are these similar? Well, all the angles are congruent, so yes. Now, I'm sorry, all my angles are congruent, and now I must see what, like, I have to see what the factors of my sides are. So I set up, if they are, similar then KL over XY should equal my KN over WX right because you have to be able to write it should be proportional okay so KL over so we get 10 over 15 you say is that equal to 15 over 20 hmm 
two ways to check guys you can cross multiply you get 200 equals 15 times 15 is 15 times 15 I should know this 225 that's what I thought and that is not true so that's not true you could have also reduced them to two-thirds and three-fourths so these are not equal so this is not these are not similar okay yeah. let's take a look at this one so all angles are congruent or all I shouldn't say all angles but all angles have a corresponding part so all angles have congruent counterpart in the right order let's see if the ratio of sides works I'm gonna go a little bit quicker this time 9 over 18 is that equal see how we have to go around this way so they match up is that equal 9 over 18 well that one holds up next I'm gonna keep going around the circle and it's another 9 over 18 so so far they all hold up now we're going to this 12 6 6 over 12 and the last one is well by George is another 6 over 12 and we'll do all these equal so yes those hold up all the angles hold up this holds up which means yes now I'm gonna put a B C D E similar to now I started with A that means over here I'm gonna start with S okay and I went A to B so I have to go S to R okay don't this one you're gonna to want to go R S T but that doesn't work they have to match up guys A matches up with S so I start with S S to R R to V and V matches up with C U V to U U to T okay okay all right we got one last problem to do for fun find Y well here it is no no okay so again these are two similar figures I'm telling you they're similar so we know they're similar so now here's what we do we set up our ratios again I always go little or big so over here we have six over nine equals 5 over y equals 7.5 what am I doing Jiminy crickets equals y over 5 equals x over 7.5 but we are too concerned about x right now so over here now cross multiply get 9y equals 30 divide by 9 y equals 30 over 9 which if we reduce that we'll be at 10 thirds and we're done okay I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson as much as I did